Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 11.4 beta 3 has been out for a few days and I wanted to share my experience and your experience through the polls I ran on Twitter and the YouTube community page. Now, I've been running this on my iPhone 10 and also my 10.5 inch iPad Pro. A lot of you have been asking me for follow-ups on the Pro as well, so I thought I'd go over this experience, although this time around there's not much to share on the iPad itself. The Pro seems to be fine. Going through different apps is nice and fast. I haven't had any issues with battery, anything like that. If I swipe up, go over to settings, everything's just nice and quick as you would expect on this particular device. So I haven't had any issues, battery's good, at least with this beta on this time around anyway. Now that's not true for me on the iPhone 10. The iPhone 10 has been really stuttery and slow. Sometimes I'll go into an app, for example, then maybe I'll go into another one. It'll load and it loads fine, but maybe I'll go into something else, go into something else, and then I'll swipe or go back and forth on the screen and it will stutter. It will kind of jitter its way back and then go back fast. So it, it won't go fast. It'll stop in between and kind of shutter a little bit and then continue its speed up to the next screen. It's really strange and nothing I've really experienced before, at least on this round of betas. So that's pretty unfortunate, at least for iPhone 10. Now I do have another situation I had and battery life for me has been okay. And you'll see here that my battery health is 100%. So that part's fine, but my battery life has been okay as far as the actual time it's lasting. But one thing I ran into really strange yesterday was when I went to charge my phone. Now, normally I put this on a stand at night, set it on the wireless charger, make sure it's charging. It lights up green here. I know it's charging. And then I wake up and it's fully charged. However, last night I did that. I woke up and there was no charge whatsoever. It was around 40%, 40 to 50%. And then I left and plugged it into my car, which has Apple CarPlay and CarPlay usually charges it, or at least the, the connector does. Again, it didn't charge. It wasn't even warm. The back wasn't warm at all. Like it would be a little bit more when it's charging. It wasn't warm at all, wasn't charging. And so what I did was reboot the phone and then it started charging. So whatever was going on there, must have been software related, but it was not charging at all. So of course I reported it through the feedback app. You have to let Apple know about this so they can fix it. And hopefully they'll be able to fix that if it was a bug. Hopefully it doesn't happen to other people, but it seemed to happen on this particular device. I haven't had any other bugs other than within CarPlay itself. It's been really stuttery and sometimes it crashes. It completely froze on me the other day. I had to unplug it, plug it back in, then it would work again. And the phone was really slow while I was doing that. So I don't know what was going on with that. Something changed between beta two and three. Maybe they're getting ready for iOS 12. I'm not sure. And based on previous betas, we had the beta this week. So maybe the 14th, we'll see the next one. And then if they speed up like they normally do, maybe we'll see another beta on the 21st and 28th. And then the final release sometime around WWDC when they release iOS 12 beta one. Now I asked a lot of you what your experience was, and I did that on Twitter and on the YouTube community page. And you'll see here that out of, well, there's about two and a half hours left, but 425 votes, 48% said great, 12% terrible, and 40% said, okay, but some bugs. Twitter really needs an edit button, so I could have fixed that. But anyway, this particular poll seemed to be pretty familiar as far as what I was experiencing. So if we go down here, I'm not going to go through all of them because there's about 70 to 90 comments between Twitter and YouTube, but I'll go through a few of them. So lots of stutters while swiping through the home screen and also while opening on up the multitasker frames drops are present throughout the OS also using the eight plus. So similar experience to what I'm having on the 10. Here's another one. iPhone 10 seems to be a little slow. Just can't put my finger on it. It definitely needs some improvements. 6s or six plus. It's okay for me. I don't have any issues iPhone 8 plus no bugs found. I'm jailbroken on 11.1.2 and going nowhere, but thanks for asking. I have iOS 11.4 beta three, but when I hear a song at Apple music that sometimes stops, here's a bug on the 6s. Let's see what this one is. So we'll wait for it to load here. So they go into a note 
they try and unlock that note with their thumb or touch ID and it crashes every time. They said it was reproducible, so make sure you submit that through feedback as well. I noticed that battery drains faster on beta 3 besides of the point I have no issues to report. Smooth sailing on my iPad Pro 9.7, 8 plus, no problems. Let's see, it's doing great on my iPhone 7, battery life is pretty decent. Thanks for the compliment. Okay on my SE, but still some bugs and fast battery drain. 8 Plus feels perfect on 11.3.1. And been okay so far. I've been on it for about 24 hours and still have some animation stuttering, but overall not bad for my iPhone 7 Plus. Slightly worse battery life than 11.3.1. Has been plugged in, so those numbers are a little bit, uh, they're probably a little bit skewed it a little bit anyway. It says it was connected to a charger. Let's take a look at the YouTube community page. So very similar poll results, 47% said great, 13% terrible, 40% said okay, but some bugs. Let's go all the way down here. It's been great. Beta 2 used to have screen responsiveness issues. So you're not having the responsiveness issues on the 6S Plus, but I am now on the 10. That's interesting. I'm on iPhone 6. It's been very good, but with few glitches. Great on 10, 7 Plus. Great on the 10. Beta 2 is better. GPS is now broken and not tracking location. I'd try a restart like I had to do for my charging issue. Maybe there's something with that. But make sure you report that one as well. iPhone 6 and battery improved. Great, great, terrible. Even worse than before, it says. I have iPhone 6S and works great. Okay, but some bugs. Expecting some smoothness. Let's see. Great, great on the 6. Okay, but some bugs. Can you do a video on how to downgrade beta software? I think I've done that before, actually, but you have to use iTunes to do that. So if you don't have a computer with iTunes, you're kind of out of luck. iPhone 6S stuttering issues that didn't exist in 11.3 release, but battery is okay. And just a note, 11.3 is no longer signed, so you can't downgrade very easily at this point. Okay, but some bugs, lots of stutters while swiping through on the 8+. Plus. I'm using an iPhone 6S, battery life is pathetic, and some apps also crash. I'm using an SE and don't have problems. So it looks like if you have an older phone, uh, an SE seems to be okay. The 6 and 6S, it's questionable. The newer phones, I don't know. It's kind of hit or miss, and I would say I'd stay away from it if you're not on the beta. If you're on the beta, of course, upgrade and test it out so that we can get it better by reporting feedback, of course. But that's about it for this particular one. Now, I always leave a link to the wallpapers in the description below. This one was sent over by Fresco. Thanks for sending this one along. I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, though, please subscribe and like. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. What are you looking forward to in iOS 12? As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.